Now, as many of you may have heard, there is an epidemic spreading, a virus, a plague. It's not Ebola, but I wish it was. It's worse than the dude that fucked the monkey and started AIDS. It's the dad bod. See, the dad bod is a trending body type, though I hesitate to call it a body or a type. It's more like a lack of both. It's like a wax sculpture of a body left out in the sun. And apparently, this is news to me, uh, some girls are crazy about the dad bod. I'm gonna go ahead now and dive into the literal pits of hell, the female psyche, and break down exactly why girls are attracted to the dad bod, and why you should not fall into this trap. I'm gonna level with you here. Now, I'm about as shallow as a plate of cereal. My brain has two halves, left and right swipe. So when girls started right swiping hard lefts, I knew something wasn't adding up. And my findings are thus. The dad bod craze is not about physical appearance or a man's body type. With the exception of a few deviants, most girls are not gonna say the guy whose body looks like really beat mashed potatoes is hotter than the guy that looks like a fucking Greek god. What they're really saying is, I'm attracted to the human version of a melted ice cream cone for the same reason I like getting all my life advice from Elite Daily articles. It's easy, it's all about me, and it tells me exactly what I want to hear. It's an attraction to the physical manifestation of complacency, which is a sentence I plagiarized from a textbook. Though I 100% disagree with their lifestyle choice to be bitch made, believe it or not, there are some dudes with beer guts that have goals and strong personalities, but now thanks to the dad bod craze, being a person of worth is just as unattractive as being in shape. I kid you not, you cannot write this shit. This is not fucking science fiction. This isn't Fantasia. This is goddamn reality. This is the world we live in today. I'm not raising kids in this shit. Or raising kids in general. Yeah, I got kids. I did. Boom. Yeah, get the fuck off this planet, find a new one. Where bitches still value shit like this. Like that. Like that. Before we go any further, we need to get one thing straight. Leonardo DiCaprio is not the fucking poster boy for dad bots. He is an extremely successful and talented multi-millionaire who is also 40 years old. What these girls are going for is more like a human foul ball at the ripe age of 20. Look, I get it, alright? You can't strike out if you keep hitting foul balls. I get it. Now, according to the Compendium of Knowledge, uh, a diary entry on the internet, uh, the dad bod says, quote, I go to the gym occasionally, but I also drink heavily on the weekends and enjoy eating eight slices of pizza at a time. Yeah, so do I, except replace occasionally with all the fucking time, and replace the weekends with all the fucking time. If you're gonna do something, do it 100%. Somebody order pizza? Oh, yeah, I did. Pocket brew. One slice. No, no, not that. Good, good bang. You're over here trying to tell me you're attracted to this slob because he has a well-rounded life? Because he's not obsessed with his body and he's not obsessed with going to the gym? He's not obsessed with anything. He's good at nothing but mediocre at everything. He doesn't care enough to do anything with passion. Which means he's not gonna care enough to argue with you when you want to put up those bullshit live, laugh, love decals on the wall of his fucking apartment that you just decided to move into. Uh, as we turn the page on this modern mind comp, while we all love the sculpted guy, there's just something about the dad bod that makes boys seem more human, natural, and attractive. Makes them seem more human, which translates to literally just a person. A sack of meat with boat shoes and his mom's debit card. He is a human ug, the sweatpants of people. Something offensively unattractive, but comfortable and easy to use. Don't let this one go, he's a winner. This guy is a keeper right here. Just like those 15 pairs of Uggs you still have in your fucking closet. All crunched and sad looking from stomping on them all the fucking time. The article goes on to say that the dad bod doesn't intimidate girls and quote, we don't want a guy that makes us feel insecure about our body. Finally, somebody gets it. Exactly. It's the same reason I don't read books. Because books intimidate me and remind me how dumb I am. 
Why should I waste time getting smarter or, you know, making peace with my insecurities when I could just level the playing field and watch Digimon reruns with my retarded cousin? Like, that sounds like a Saturday to me. I don't want someone to enrich my life. I want someone to reassure me that my shitty life is adequate. Now, here's where it takes a turn for the dark. We like being the pretty one. We love people saying they look cute together, but we still like being the center of attention. It just went from settling to dominating. Question, what do girls really want in a relationship? Love, trust, an equal partner with values and depth? Well, fuck no, they want the upper hand. Being the prettier one gives them the power. Relationships are a constant matchup. If you're dating a dad bod, you win by default because the other team failed to show up. It's like having a dog, all right? He's not, he knows he's a dog and he's not gonna leave you and go looking for a new owner. Why the fuck would he leave a perfectly comfortable home with an owner that feeds him and lets him hump her leg on Wednesdays with the lights off? He's not gonna. He's gonna stay put and get fat and die. Good luck ever getting a fucking blowjob. In summation, girls, don't lower your standards and feed the fucking pigeons. You're a lioness. You're Nala. Find your goddamn Simba. Or at least go back to fucking Scar. Don't fuck the toucan. And guys, don't get sucked into this trap, alright? You started lifting to get girls, but you quickly realized the real reason you lift is to be better than people. And if you allow yourself to become some girl's dad bod, you are willingly becoming the loser in the relationship. You are there only to remind the girl that she is better than you. So listen, if you want a relationship where each person is a confident individual who betters the other, then cool. I also hate winning. I get it, it's also a lot of work to challenge yourself. Which is why I typically go for stupid chicks. Typically being always. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New video this week. This is it. Uh, this is the one you're watching. It's the new one. And also go to brosubs.com for the cure to dad bot. And, uh, and whiskey dick, actually. Here's that. Not that I would know. My whiskey dick is harder than regular dick.